Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Agris Budget and today I'm going to show you how you can create your own Minecraft application with a coding program called Microsoft Visual C Sharp 2010 Express Edition. Uh, what we're going to do is actually create our own Minecraft application that you can start Minecraft with with a different amount of memory because Minecraft by default only uses 512 megabytes of memory and well, for sort of difficult to load maps or maps that have shitloads of block on it, you actually want to increase the memory size of Minecraft. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We are going to code our own application. First of all, what you need is Microsoft uh, Visual C Sharp Express Edition to actually code that program. So, you're going to search for and download Microsoft, sorry for that, uh, Visual Studio 2010 or you can download the 2010 Express Edition. There's also a version if you only want to code C Sharp. Um, you can just enter C Sharp 2000 Express and we'll find that. So it leads you to a site where you can actually download uh, that tool. It's for Windows, so we're going to click on here and then we got C Sharp Express, and that's right. Then you've got different downloads here. What we need is the Visual C Sharp 2000 Express, and you can simply download that here. Uh, I'm going to skip the whole installing process since, well, that's kind of boring and you all know how to do that. Just click a few times forward or next. Um, yeah. As soon as you got installed, we're going to start up the application and I'm going to create a new project with File, New Project. And we're going to choose a console application. Now, we want to need, uh, well, we're going to need a title for our application, so we're just going to call it uh, Minecraft Start or something like that. I don't know. So, what it's going to do now is it's going to build us a default um, schematic of uh, a few system code lines that you need. Like, these are the libraries that you need to uh, code default stuff in Windows, but we're not going to use that. Anyway, uh, what we're going to do is just add a little code here in the main uh, method of the program, which is the method that gets started as soon as you double click the icon. And we're going to do it with a try catch since sometimes it could fail theoretically. So, uh, yeah, just to prevent errors, we're going to do that. So, yeah, we're going to do it with try. Then you need those brackets here, those brackets. And as always, you also need a catch to actually catch errors. Uh, you don't really have to do anything as soon as it catches anything. But, well, it's there for, yeah, it's just there for something. <laughs> okay, so what we are going to need now to actually start Minecraft itself is another service called System Diagnostics, which lets you uh, start things with uh, new processes. Now we're going to implement the System Diagnostics like that. And now we got all the features that we need to actually start Minecraft. What we're going to do is we declare uh, we declare a new process like that process let's call it Minecraft and that will do that like a new process it's already given us all the options now we need these brackets here and now we can actually access the process Minecraft so now bear with me I'm gonna write something I'm gonna explain it later what we actually need oh sorry that wasn't correct we need the file name of Minecraft, so the process actually knows uh, what file should I start as soon as it double clicks the application. And in my case, that would be Java uh, Java W .exe. And uh, I already got that path copied here in my notepad. Let me quickly copy that. There we go. So that's the path of my Java .exe of my Java W .exe. And that's uh, well, basically, it's just Java runtime application. So um, what we're going to do now is we're going to give them a few starting arguments, so we can actually do something if we click start. But that's also start info. Oh, sorry. And those are arguments like that. And now we're going to give uh, him a few arguments, and this is where we're actually going to tell him what heap size, and well, what maximum heap size and minimum heap size, meaning what maximum memory amount and minimum memory amount we give Minecraft itself. So, how are we going to do that? 
First of all, you need to tell the application how much memory it can uh, it can use by maximum. Meaning we're going to write like that x m x, and since I got 16 gigabytes of memory, I can without problem give micro for example 8 gigabytes of memory, which would be 1892 megabytes of memory. Now I need to tap M for megabyte, so it actually knows how much that is. Then uh, at second, we need to give Minecraft a minimum amount of memory that it can use, and minimum minimum amount is uh, told by XMS. XMX is the maximum amount, and XMS is the minimum amount. And uh, in my case, for example, um, I want Minecraft to always have at least one gigabyte of memory. And that's why I'm giving it 1,024 megabytes of memory every time uh, I start up Minecraft. At least it can't go any below it. But um, you need to be careful if you like uh, if you've got eight gigabytes of memory, for example, in total on a computer, you can't give it eight gigabytes as a mi minimum because uh, no other program will run anymore if you do that. So yeah, be careful with that command. Now what we're going to do is we're going to tell them, yeah, you should start the jar file, and now it comes to the path of your Minecraft.exe. Uh, I've already copied that for me, so I'm just going to copy paste it into here so we got C users admin updater roaming Minecraft bin Minecraft.exe and that's actually where my Minecraft is located so uh, we're quickly going to start up Explorer wait a sec yeah, it's over there uh, there we go and you can see in my bin folder is actually Minecraft.exe that's the default Minecraft.exe which you can get from mojang.com or Minecraft.net I'm not sure which it is so uh, that's the application that's actually going to be started with that command here with the Java environment and that amount of memory now all we need to do now is actually start the process which we do with Minecraft.start there it is in the brackets and there we go. That's actually all you need to do to start your own Minecraft application. Now you can do stuff like uh, give it a nice icon, for example, in the properties, project Minecraft start properties. You can set your icon with um, the default icon is there. Now I, for example, don't have any icons installed yet, but um, I already made one so I can show you what it did. There, here you can now set your icon. And after you've done that, you only need to save it with this, save all. And then you need to click project, oh, sorry, not project, you need to click debug build solution, which will actually create the application for you. And, oh, well, that's basically it. Now, oh, great, my <laughs> Visual C Sharp just crashed. <laughs> um, well, we're going to continue if it has stopped crashing. Yeah, and we're back. Um, so, after you've actually clicked on generate project or whatever it was, render project, build project, I can't remember. Um, you actually need to go to your documents folder, Visual Studio 10,000 uh, and 10, double click on that, go to projects, Minecraft start and it will create your subfolder which is called bin release. So this is where our application has been generated in and now we can try it by just double clicking on it. You see uh, it starts up the Minecraft application just do the login, or which takes ages for me, or since the latest release, I don't know why, but yeah, now there we go. I uh, actually got my uh, Skyrim texture pack installed, so don't worry about that. Uh, we're just going to quickly load up the world. So uh, it's actually kind of fluently, as you can see, and if we hit F3, you can actually see that, well, I got Optifine installed, so I changed that a bit, but you can see that Minecraft is currently using a total amount of 618 megabyte of 3921 that's because that application actually made it's not what we just coded it, it's actually the application I made before and they only gave them 4 gigabytes of memory that's why uh, otherwise there would be like 8 gigabytes of memory there in the upper right corner so yeah that's been it uh, I hope you learned something if you got any questions I'll try to explain them even though I'm not like C sharp coding pro uh, I just started it recently so uh, yeah I'll try to explain everything I can but that's how you actually make your own Minecraft start application and uh, I hope it works for you if it doesn't just ask in the comments if you like this video rate and subscribe and we'll see you soon back and goodbye everybody